Welcome to lecture number 16 of the series Unreal 5 for Arquis and in today's lecture we'll model a few curtains against these glass doors. So let's get started. Let's first of all go into the top view and let's add in a plane. I'll move this plane to a different collection. I'll rename this as curtains. Okay. Let's rotate this on X. Lift this up on Z and let's snap it at this point okay let's move this on y and place it at this point yeah okay I'll go into the edit mode I'll select top vertices and I'll snap them at this point let's select the bottom vertices and let's snap them at this point okay let me disable my snapping and let's select these vertices I'll move them on X I'll select these vertices and move them on X as well. Yeah, okay. I'll go into my modifiers tab and let's bring in subdivision surface modifier. Let's add maximum number of levels and I'll apply my subdivision surface. Okay. Let's bring in another sub D and let's add a cloth simulation. I'll change this one to silk. Let's enable self clearance and let's decrease this to 0 0.001. I'll increase the clearance quality to 5. Yeah, okay. Let's go into the object data properties and I'll go into the edit mode. I'll select these vertices. Okay. Let's assign a vertex group. Okay, I'll go into the physics properties and let's select this group. Okay, I'll go back into the object data properties and let's bring in shape keys for the animation. Okay, I'll scale these top vertices on x axis by 0 0.4 meters. Okay, and let's add a keyframe. I'll jump to frame number 90 and let's change the value to 1 and I'll add another keyframe. Okay. Run the simulation. Let's pause the simulation. Yeah. Okay. And let's bring in shade smooth. Okay. And let me first delete my shape keys and then I'll apply my modifiers. Let's bring in another subdivision surface. Okay. Let's add solidify modifier. I'll change my thickness to 0 0.002. Okay. Yeah, I'll select this one. I'll go into the top view and let's create a copy on X axis. Let's create a copy on Y and I'll rotate this one on C by 90 degrees. And let's find a perfect spot for this curtain. Yeah, let's first uh, scale this down on Y. Okay, I'll select this one and I'll scale this down on X. Okay. Let's now adjust the positions. Yeah, okay. I'll select this one and let's scale this down on X. I'll move this on X and let's create a copy on X axis. Let's move both of them on X axis and I'll select this one. And let's 
move this on X. Okay. Now they are overlapping, so I'll select this one and let's go into the sculpting mode. But first I have to apply scale, so let's first apply scale and then go back into the sculpting mode. Okay, let's increase the radius to 250 and I'll change the deformation to grab. Okay, let's uh, grab this part. Okay, let's go back into the layout tab. I'll select this one and let's go into the sculpting mode. First, let's apply a scale. Let's go back into the sculpting mode. And let's pull this out. I'll scale this to 100. Yes, okay. Let's go back into the layout tab. Yeah, I think the overlap is now unnoticeable. So yeah, let's go into the top view and let's now start working on the roof. I'll add a single vertex. Let's move this vertex to walls collection. I'll go into the edit mode and let's place this vertex at this point. Let me first enable my snapping. Yeah, okay, let's move this on C. I'll extrude this one on X. Select all of these and extrude them on Y. Yeah, okay. Let's extrude all of these on Z by 0 0.1 meters. Okay. I'll go into the top view and let me disable my snapping and I'll start adding some loop cuts. Let's bevel this by 0 0.09 meters. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's let's add another loop cut and I'll move this one at this point. Let's bevel them by 0 0.09 meters. I'll move them on X axis. Yeah, okay. I'll select the face selection mode and let's select this face, this face and this one. And let's extrude them on z-axis. Yeah, okay. I'll select my curtains. And let's move them on Z axis. Yeah, I think that came out pretty well. Okay, so that's it for this lecture. In the next lecture, we'll start working on our exteriors and we'll create a swimming pool in this area. And we'll have a little space for plants by these windows. So I'll see you guys in the next lecture.